play a crucial role in the digital economy of the of Bhutan because we have a lot of people from India traveling to Bhutan as well. So I think that will greatly benefit the Indian tourists because as you know we are moving from a uh, cash to a card economy and actually from a card to a cardless economy. So that will obviate the need for the Indian tourists to carry cash and uh, I think will greatly facilitate uh, uh, convenience. As far as the second phase is concerned of the rupee card, which I think we should see next year, uh, the banks of Bhutan will issue rupee cards, which will facilitate the visit of Bhutanese tourists to India, as also the many Bhutanese students who study in India. So I think this is a very important step towards cross-border interoperability. India has already been playing a crucial role in the road development of this country. Now we have a direct access from India to Thimpu and also uh, the hydroelectric projects. So tell us more about that. India has been playing a large role, not since today, but since the b very beginning. So, um, as you know, we have Project Dantak here in Bhutan, and uh, they have played a crucial role in the social economic development of the country, as you say. Currently, they are maintaining about 630 kilometers of road, and uh, this is a brand that is well known and well liked across Bhutan. As far as hydroelectric power cooperation is concerned, I think there too India has played uh, a big role. In fact, during the Prime Minister's visit, we will be launching a stamp marking 50 years of hydropower cooperation between India and Bhutan, beginning from Chukka, Tala, Kurichu, and now Mangdechu, and going forward, looking forward to the Sankosh Hydroelectric Power Project. And when we talk about the two countries, Prime Minister has been talking about the younger generation, and this time he would also be interacting with the students of Royal Bhutan University. So how interesting would that be? Well, I think uh, that is, if I may say so, one of the high points of the visit. There is great excitement and enthusiasm in Bhutan. And uh, the Royal University, which is the only uh, uh, university of Bhutan, has, I think, put together and crafted this program with a lot of uh, love and care. And uh, it is... Uh, matter of great pride that Prime Minister will be addressing the youth because when you talk of India-Bhutan relations you must also look at the future and the youth are the future of the India-Bhutan relationship. So I think this uh, address is much anticipated and uh, one of the highlights of the program. So there you heard the ambassador. She says that it is going to be a very crucial and important meeting between the two Prime Ministers and also between the two countries and the audience with the King would be playing the key role in this visit of the Indian Prime Minister. And my colleague Vishal Baristo is joining us uh, from uh, Thimpu, uh, Bhutan. Uh, uh, Vishal, now neighborhood first, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said it time and again, it's not just a vision but an action agenda. Uh, how is that going to be taken forward in the midst of the bilateral and strategic ties between India and Bhutan? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Shubendu. As I was expecting you to talk to me, showers of blessings uh, here are here, and we can see rains, uh, in fact, welcoming the Prime Minister. And let me tell you that Prime Minister has always attached a very imp a lot of importance to Bhutan because, uh, uh, according to his neighborhood first policy, the External Affairs Minister was uh, the first uh, to visit uh, the country and now followed by the Prime Minister. So it's, it's going to be a very, very crucial two day visit. And India has played a major role in the development of this country which is known for its happiness around the world and along with happiness is the development which is a very crucial infrastructure hydroelectricity and also the Prime Minister's vision of a common satellite for South uh, uh, 